Good morning everyone. Welcome to Craft Our Paper Stash Cards. This is a collaboration we do on the 15th. It's with Stamp Girl Linda Kaufman and I know G's Tidbits G-I-E um, already posted today so we'll link her below as well. She posts sometimes and she has. So um, the intent of this is to use paper in our stash and make five you know it can be under five or over five but around five cards every month you can do more or less i did exactly five this month and i did use paper in my stash um and i also used some stamp sets i hadn't used yet so without further ado and i'll go through those as we go so this first card oops sorry i got two at once uh, this first card uses a stamp set called Winds of Change. I hadn't even opened it and I've had it for a while. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this, if you are interested, is item number 149357. Um, and the paper I used is, you can't get this anymore, just, um, it was just in the uh, celebration coordination through March 31st by Stampin' Up! But I had some smaller pieces, not quite this small, of the tulip paper. And I had tulips on my mind because this has tulips in it. But I used, I ended up using the back of it as the background paper here and also inside. I didn't stamp anything inside. So I did also use with this the rectangle stitched well they're, we no longer uh, call them framelits but i have it an old one so the old number was 148551 you would just look up rectangle stitch dies now and i use that for this piece and also this white piece here i did not use it for the background piece um, because this actually um it's not the largest one but it's almost the largest one and, and it, anyway i'd already cut this and they didn't use it on the inside either. So I colored this with the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. I used Pool Party in the background, Balmy Blue, uh, Smoky Slate Light, Lovely Lipstick Light and Dark, Daffodil Delight Light and Dark, and Granny Apple Green Light and Dark because that's what this color is. And Lovely Lipstick Paper here. And this ribbon here is the Ruched Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. It's a quarter inch wide. It's from the mini catalog in the Birthday Bonanza Suite, if you're interested. And that's about it, really. I just, oh, and uh, I also used Crumb Cake Light for the dirt in the background. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Smoky Slate, Balmy Blue, Pool Party Light, and Lovely Lipstick and Daffodil to Light, Light and Dark, and Granny Apple Green, Light and Dark. So that is my first card. The second card um, also uses the um, Winds of Change, but it uses this stamp here. Sorry for the glare. This stamp here instead. Uh, and this one over here says, Sometimes in the Winds of Change we find our greatest direction. That's sure appropriate for right now. Anyway. But the next few four cards actually use a different paper. I brought out this um, Perennial Essence. And I had a fairly large piece, but not a full piece of, this is not the right one, nope, uh, this paper, which has this on the back. So I did two cards in this and two cards in this, which I'll show you now. So the first one is this. It's on Blackberry Bliss cardstock. A piece of that beautiful paper which I know is not tulips but oh well um, and this uses the layering owls dies which the old number was 141706 I'm not sure what the new number is guys and I used the largest for the blackberry bliss and the 
Um, is that right? I don't think so. I think it was the next largest for the Blackberry Bliss and the one below that for the Whisper White here. This is a piece of Mossy Meadow, which is out of the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. You can see it's, it's um, I don't know if they call it thread, linen thread, Mossy Meadow linen thread. And it's a pretty simple card, just the paper mat. This is bumped up on dimensionals. This is stuck down with a glue dot and using alcohol markers in light and dark Blackberry Bliss and light and dark Marcy Meadow. And inside I stamped Happy Mother's Day. Now that came out of the Timeless Tulips. Let me move these. Oops. Let me switch them over to here. Put this here instead. So the Happy Mother's Day came out of Timeless Tulips, which is in the mini catalog also. It's item code 151534. Four, or there's a bundle you can get it with a tulip punch which is 151295 if you buy them separately so I stamped happy mother's day in blackberry bliss and just put another piece of the paper inside I think that makes a beautiful simple card then the next one I switched to that other paper um, the other side of that same paper I mean and this time I used the dies called Word Wishes Dies. They're in a bundle with the A Wish for Everything uh, 2 bundle stamp set. And it has Happy Mother's and Day in it. Um, so this one is on Petal Pink. It has So Saffron in the background. And I cut these out, um, these two, two times. Actually, I cut them all out three times, but I only ended up using the petal pink and on top the So Saffron for Happy and Day. And Mother's, I did the same thing, but then I topped it in white. I didn't bother putting the little apostrophe in. My fingers are just too big for that. And then this ribbon is the, what did I do with it? Um, metallic edge ribbon. It's in petal pink. It's in the Parisian Blossom Suite in the 2020 mini, mini catalog, so it's still valid. Um, and the color is petal pink with champagne edging on it. Beautiful. And then I use, because these flowers look like daisies to me, so I use the medium daisy punch. I punched them out three times in just Whisper White cardstock, but I then took my light Stampin' Blend and went around the edges. I don't know if you can see that, that the edges are pinked a little bit because the flowers are white, abstract, but white with a little pink around them. I actually think that might be Flirty Flamingo, but anyway. And then I used one of these fuzzy... Perennial Essence Floral Centers. I finished this one, but um, they come, here's a, a new one I didn't open yet. They're number 149442, and they're in the annual catalog, the current annual catalog, which will be ending at the end of May. So if you want them, get them now. They're, they look like this, and they have little um, mini, like mini dimensionals on the back. And um, so I've I have this down with a glue dot, but uh, maybe two glue dots, and then each one is glued together alternating. I've punched it out three times. So that is what I did on that one, and I think the inside, yeah, I just left it blank. Um, so saffron, whisper white, and a piece of the paper. So that's that one. Then card number four, or, sorry for my reach. I went back to the other side. I used Thick Whisper White as the card base, um, and then I went in a little bit on the Blackberry Bliss and that beautiful paper there. I just put another strip of Blackberry Bliss all the way across, and then in the annual catalog is this washi tape in the, it's in the perennial essence, I think, um, pretty sure, yeah. 
it's in the perennial essence suite of the annual catalog so I use that and I each of these is an individual petal I can get one to show you like that it lifts up so I just tuck uh, made them you know stuck them together in the middle and then put another one of those fuzzy perennial essence floral centers in love those I stamped I made you a card that came out of oops here's a card I made you a card because you're worth it and I did that on whisper white in blackberry bliss and then I punched it with the timeless label punch which is number 149516 in the annual catalog and for the bling I actually use these are melon mambo they're in the noble peacock rhinestones as you can see I'm almost on this sheet so I'm trying to finish those up and I just put three on and then inside um, I did stamp I'm here if you need me out of that same here's a card I'm here if you need me I made you a card because you're worth it I'm here if you need me so that's what I did on that one love that one actually and the last one um, I have I, I was getting to smaller pieces of paper so and I flipped it over and used the pink again this is petal pink on thick whisper white and um, this happy birthday also comes out of the here's a card stamp set which is number one four nine four three eight if you're interested it's a good stamp set actually has quite a few nice sayings and um, this time I went with crushed curry crushed curry ink and crushed curry uh, what did I do with it here it is crinkle seam binding ribbon 3 8 inch wide and I think that's might be in the I don't know if it's in the annual or if it was in the um, holiday catalog uh, but you can try and look it up 149444 I'm not sure that's still available but anyway I used that from my stash Oop, I got kitty fur and then I used the champagne rhinestone basic jewels um they have been on back order i'm not sure if they're in yet they're number one five one one nine three really sparkly champagne rhinestones i believe they're in the parisian suite as well and i actually put ended up putting seven of those on because it's just three didn't look enough i didn't look enough so that's what i did and the ribbon i just zigzagged back and forth um three times over both papers and this uh, background is embossed with the coastal weave 3d embossing folder which is in the tropical suite and it's item number 151503 if you're interested in that I really like how that um, looks it does look like a tropical basket weave so those are my five cards for craft our paper stash cards i did use up most of that bigger sheet of um, perennial essence and i did use up a good bit with the inside and the outside of one of the tulip sheet scraps that i had i think i need um, I don't know did I tell you this is daffodil delight I think I did yeah daffodil delight roost ribbon yeah okay so anyway those are my cards for this month's craft art paper stash I hope you enjoyed that I had a lot of fun making them and um, please do go check out stamp girl Linda Kaufman and G's tidbits I will link them down below and if anybody else is playing along and I've forgotten I do apologize I'll if I find that out I'll link you as well down below my brain is just on slow mode for some reason lately <laughs> but uh, yeah have a wonderful day uh, I'm in flower mode as you can see flowers tulips for spring my tulips are blooming which is what made me think of that and um, also I was watching another 
demonstrator and she was in Holland although she's a Canadian demonstrator but she is for some reason in Holland right now anyway so the windmill made me think of that and the tulips so I use tulips on too I love tulips and daisies <laughs> I love flowers so and perennials because they come back every year yay I need more of those in my life all right have a wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Be safe, everyone.